the next big thing. That's what everyone is looking for as investors because you want to be able to make a big return on your initial investment. And so projects like Apple, Google, Facebook, heck, Bitcoin, if you would have gotten in at the very beginning on those and been patient, your return on your investment to today would be absolutely massive. So what I want to talk about here is in relation to Scott Paul, this individual has made a very bold statement during this Cryptopia-based crypto event that's taking place over in Utah. Before I do get into it and give my thoughts, quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the news. So as was highlighted by Generation Crypto, who is another fellow SafeMoon YouTuber, he was on the round table last night and he is currently at the convention right now or the conference. So he had highlighted Scott Paul claims he has been on the search for 10 years for the company that will be a household name in Utah, like Nike, Amazon, Facebook. Without fail, he thinks SafeMoon will be that household name. So yes, we are talking a little bit more about in regards to Utah for you know rising cryptocurrency, well, companies in general. You look at Silicon Valley, there's a lot of the tech-based companies that are over there. That's over by San Francisco area. And then you've also got companies that are moving over to Texas. And then here we have Utah as a good example because we are seeing companies dealing with DeFi, with blockchain, with cryptocurrencies. It's starting to build a little bit of a, an ecosystem over there, I should say, and the business relationships there as well. So Scott Paul feels that SafeMoon is that answer. And who is Scott Paul? Well, it's a great question. He's a stand-up comedian in the cryptoverse, Tesla lover, and humanoid who wants to live in a world where coin is, is the uh, blank coin is the reserve currency. That's his description. But to be a little bit more elaborate, he's primarily known as an investor. He has some background of development as well. And he's very pro Web3. And he's now being tied in with several other projects such as Uplift and also that of Giddy. And he's just trying to be very supportive of the crypto industry in general. And so when we take a look at his relationship ties to that of SafeMoon, we can see that he has had numerous meetings with John, the CEO of SafeMoon, and he has had talks with him and trying to find ways to kind of help bridge SafeMoon to the rest of the world. And Scott Paul, he's very well connected. He's got a lot of different people that he's met. And in addition to also being surrounded by people such as John from SafeMoon, we also have Brandon Fugel who's tied in with a lot of other projects. So it's not about who you know, it's about who you know, who they know. And having someone on board that's showing support like him could really open up a ton of doors moving forward. And so establishing over in Utah, having other companies nearby that can help provide in various ways, whether it be uh, testing material so that they can run their tests on the wind turbines or other services that has to do with applications. There's just a realm of possibilities that are here. And I think this is really exciting. If you want my opinion on this, I personally think, and this is again, just my opinion, that SafeMoon is that next leading innovator as a company in regards to the cryptocurrency industry and just a tech-based company in general. Focusing on infrastructure on renewable energy this is a direction that younger generations are really trying to show a ton of support for moving forward and so you have to look not where we're at right now and what viewpoints are right now is to say hey what people are going to be alive in around 10 15 20 30 years from now what is our viewpoint going to be what's going to be going on with the world what are the main problems and concerns at the time and then the trouble solutions that were going to be trying to put into place to solve those problems. And so by showing support for renewable energy such as wind turbines and solar energy, I think SafeMoon is moving in a very good direction and being able to incorporate other things such as telecommunications, infrastructure, um, having a form of payment that can be easily transmitted back and forth between individuals. It's just absolutely exciting times. So I'm happy to be in this early. 
I'm looking forward to a lot of the news that's coming out this year. I agree with Scott Paul. I think SafeMoon is right up there in the ranks with these other companies like Amazon, Facebook, and Nike. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I do have referral links in the description. If you want to get free crypto or free stock, you can check those out. It is free money for you guys. And also, I do have an NFT for sale. There's a link in the description if you want to check that out. Once that one sells, I have three other NFTs I will be giving away. Shout out, thank you to our Patreon supporters. A double shout out, thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor, Troy Smothers, and 1010 Bunts for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as a dollar a month. There is a link in the description. And thank you to our YouTube members. You can click the join button down below if you'd like to join that. And I think what I'm going to be doing is trying to uh, give a little bit more perk benefits to our patrons and our YouTube members. And what I'm thinking about doing is I look at other crypto projects as well. And in Discord, I have a patron-only channel. So I'm thinking about disclosing in there when I'm looking at certain projects what I think. And you guys can discuss more with me on those kinds of things. And I could also possibly just do some chart analysis a couple things that are a little bit more exclusive in that regard that might not necessarily go up on YouTube. So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys like that idea. And that's it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. We'd love your guys' support and being a part of the community. Click the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know when we go live. Have a great day. God bless. I will see you in the next episode.